How you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from my just Electronics. Today we're going to be finishing up a Delta VFD drive, VFD L drive, where we're going to run a drive that in control using an MLP or a speed up frequency up, speed frequency down, how this drive is called, using two buttons, and also we're going to be checking out the multi frequency setup. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. If by any chance you missed the last two videos where we covered the drive, commissioned the drive, and then run two, three wire control in uh, two respective videos, do check that in the description below and all the related manuals. Anything that would benefit you, well, I think would benefit you in a possible way. In the description below. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, for our first uh, station, we are going to be our uh, station like so. So, as usual, forwards uh, run, reverse run, speed up, and we're going to have a speed down. Pretty much the same principle what these two guys are doing here. We're just going to put that in externally. So when it comes down to wiring, it's actually quite straightforward as usual. Our uh, grounds coming in, coming through, sending the power to uh, all, all of the uh, normally uh, open contacts. For our run forwards, it will be zero. Uh, run reverse, it will be one. And uh, speed up will be two. And speed down is going to be rm3 so that's pretty much it so when it comes down to uh, actual wiring and there you can see they're all coming in here so uh, for this to work we need to do a couple of uh, things first we need to program our ios and for the first one we're going to change it's our a uh, source frequency so our source frequency is actually zero it's called digital keypad it sounds weird i know but it is what it is it's a zero and digital keypad means these two guys in here and also will work externally so that's all we need to do when it comes down to source and uh, terminals in here everything else is like it was in previous video so and uh, after that we need to go all the way down to our ios and the first io we're going to set up is our a um, uh, am I in the right one? Uh, no, we are not in the right one. So it's a group four, actually. We just missed that, missed that out a little bit. So it's a group four, actually. So one, two, three, four. This is where our IOs. Why do I keep clicking this there? So and then we go for a uh, IO A4. And in here, we're going to select one. So basically, which is going to be much a return to what we did before. So return drive, so M0 is forward stop and M1 is forward, uh, reverse stop. So pretty much that's what that's going to do. So those two are going to be occupied, M1 and M0 is occupied straight away. So, and then the 5 is going to be our a, a, a increment, which is for that M2. And a 6 is going to be for our decrement for our a, a M3. And that is it. So, and this pretty much is ready to go. So let's put cover on and let's have a look how that works. Here we are, so cover's on, so let's leave that. So there's a couple of things I want to mention. This is the first drive of them all that actually, if you see, if I put it in the, the run mode, the speed up and speed down usually respond to, some, uh, to one of the accelerations. As you can see, I'm accelerating and deaccelerating. And I have uh, checked out, there's two accelerations and deaccelerations in this drive, and I have checked out both. But acceleration two, uh, you need to actually activate it by a, uh, one of the digital inputs, which I am not willing to give up for this uh, uh, trial in here. So uh, when I, at the moment, my up uh, speed up and speed down, uh, sensitivity is kind of set exactly the same as this guy is set in here and I'm not sure can it be changed or not usually um, when it drives the response to acceleration the acceleration one and every now and then I was having it so they respond uh, the sensitivity with response to acceleration the acceleration two but because the acceleration the acceleration two needs to be activated I'm not gonna test it so uh, for this trial as you can see, uh, when you go on it, this is more or less the speed, the way it's going up. So uh, maybe it's going to go down faster once I hold it. No. And there we go, that's up and a down. So if you do want to check out acceleration, the acceleration to do, do check it out. There we go, that looks like it's out. So now we'll go in reverse. So 
So that's, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, when it comes down to up and down speed control, so you can have uh, up and down speeds from a remote if you wish, from here, and you can have it from the buttons as well. And that will do for MOP control. So next up, let's check out how multi-frequency setup works. And as for the multi-frequency, uh, there's a couple of ways we can go with it when it comes down to initial frequency. So if you want to, uh, this, by the way, this is the station in here. So that's what the station is going to be a run, speed one, speed two, and speed three. The run signal in here, you can uh, select, uh, you can um, make that to be your potentiometer if you wish to. And then when you want to go for specific speeds, you can just select the inputs in here, so these inputs in here, which you're going to get to that and then get to in a minute. And which source the run signal is using for this frequency, it very much depends on you. And as you can see in here, I have selected my run frequency to come from this potentiometer. You can have it from external potentiometer if you And so I want you to give you an idea that the run signal will stay always there if you need it, if you want to. So for me, I will leave that at zero because I want to have a better control on my uh, multi frequencies. But if you want a uh, potentiometer and multi speeds, you can have them. So when it comes down to wiring, so here we are. So uh, the ground comes to our normally closed contact. And from there, as you can see, as usual, it sends, sends the power to all the normally uh, open contacts. From there on, uh, by the way, the, the, we are leaving, I'm gonna get the parameter in a minute. You ha we are having a run forward signal in here, but you can still have a run reverse if you want to, because the M1 can be for run reverse if you want to select it, uh, add it to your panel. But we're only gonna be using the run forwards, and this run signal is required for any of the digital, for any of the frequencies, multi frequencies to work, for set frequencies to work. So uh, from there on, we have a uh, uh, speed one going to a terminal M2, and speed two is going for a terminal M3. And speed three, which we can have, and this drive only can have three speeds, uh, you need to close the M, this goes M2 and M3 down if you wish to, wish to, wish to want to achieve the speed three. And this is exactly this, this is what these two contacts do in here. So you can say one goes to uh, this guy, and this one goes to this guy. So when I push the button, these both are gonna get closed and we'll activate the speed. Three. So this is pretty much how that works. And I'll show you the parameters, as you can see. Uh, your, your frequency setups are in uh, from 501 all the way to 503. So this is where you set, uh, set, set your frequencies, so speed one, speed two, and speed three. So that's for that. So uh, let's leave that one then. Then we go down, go down to a source. A source, as you can see, I have three for this potentiometer. You can choose what it, whichever you want. You can you have these, you can have that, and all sorts of different ways. You can control it, so that option is still there. And when it comes down to a uh, actual uh, I.O., so as you can see, I went to, uh, which one was it? Five, uh, four, 404. It's gonna be, is it 404? No, 405, sorry. 405 is a stands at seven, which is a spare smooth, uh, uh, multi step speed one. And uh, uh, M3, which is a 406, stands for multi, -ste multi speed step. Uh, multi uh, hold on, I am mixing up a multi speed uh, step speed command two. So that's when it comes down to parameters to achieve what we are trying to do in here. So let me put on the cover and I'll show you how that works. Here we are, so the cover is on. So let's check out the run. So as you can see the run, it, it goes into the run mode, but nothing's happening. But you can see my light is flashing there. I'm not sure you should be able to see it. And I can control my uh, motor if I wish from uh, uh, this position or uh, adding a potentiometer to your station. But then I say, no, no, I want a spe no, uh, specific speed, boom. As soon as you put speak speed on, it will go for that specific speed. And then I say, then it, as soon as you obviously turn off, it goes back to a uh, source. So, and then I say 21, that will be my speed two. And that'll be my speed three. And as you can see, I can achieve speed three as well for doing that, these two switches. So that's uh, because it's, it's, it's classed as a bit selection, so it's just quite weird to see it because here we go, we turn that down so we can see it show better. 
what is going on in there. Because uh, the speeds in there works as a bit selections and basically from uh, three, um, from two uh, points you can achieve three speeds. So that's pretty much how that works. And that ladies and gentlemen will do for this drive. I actually had, I had a quite a bit of fun with it. It's different. Uh, some of the things was quite different from other drives. It's quite interesting how different things are from manufacturer to manufacturer. But nevertheless, it's a good drive. Well manufactured, well done. So, uh, so yeah. So if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like. And of course, we have covered very, very basic. There's quite a lot more into this drive. But hopefully, with these videos, you are well in your way to understand how the drive functions, how to work with it, and you're going to be well on your way to setting up to your desired uh, uh, application. And if you like that video, don't forget to subscribe. If you like what we're doing here, any questions, do uh, ask them in the comment section below and answer them as soon and as accurate as I can. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.